Hey guys, this is Tom Warren with The Verge, and we're looking at the Samsung Ativ Q. Uh, now, this is a new uh, laptop that uh, Samsung's announced today. Um, it's got a 13.3 uh, QHD Plus display. Um, it's actually running a, a free 200 by uh, 1800 resolution, so it's extremely high res. Um, first and first, it looks like a Windows 8 uh, tablet, um, but it's got this crazy hinge on it, um, kind of like Acer's, um, where you can just peel it out uh, to reveal a keyboard here. It's quite a wide keyboard. Um, you have to kind of stretch to, to reach the uh, backspace. Uh, it's got a little nub here as well, so there's no, there's no uh, actual trackpad down the bottom. You've got the sort of traditional buttons. Um, also, you can uh, actually maneuver the screen to then eat your dinner um, on it if you want, or something like that. I don't know what you'd use it in this mode for, but um, it works like that. So you can also push it forward like that. Um, now, it won't it won't snap around the device, but it will just simply stay as like a stand so you can display content on that. Um, the kind of uh, crazy thing about this device, if you will, um, it actually runs Android as well. So um, there's a little application here called Dual OS. And I think, uh, speaking to the guys here, you have to trigger it from some sort of uh, keyboard combination. Um, and it literally flicks straight into uh, Android. So there's no, uh, no switch on the side. Um, you're straight in, you can access the sort of traditional uh, Android stuff and you can go straight back to uh, Windows 8. So uh, it looks like they're virtualizing this. Um, and it runs kind of okay. Um, it doesn't look too great on this high res uh, display um, compared to Windows 8. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it works. Um, now, this also ships with 256 gig of uh, SSD, uh, and it's got a 720p camera up front, and uh, all your sort of um, other sort of options like gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi, etc. Um, and looking at it, it's kind of got a sort of brushed metal finish and then a matte back. Um, and it feels and looks very much like a Samsung device and sort of fits in with their other Ativ devices and their and sort of like their TVS Windows phone as well. So that was a quick look at the Samsung Ativ Q.